bring you the news of the day. This, according to ABC, 20%, 20% of Trump voters say that men have too much influence in the country these days. 50% of Clinton supporters say men have too much influence. That's very interesting. I don't think men have enough influence. Oh, really? Uh, huh. U- USA Today, it's so interesting, we're going to say it twice. USA Today... 34 years ago, they started as a vigilant, nonpartisan newspaper, and their editorial page took the middle ground for 34 years. No more. For the first time in 34 years, they have the editorial board has unanimously not endorsed a candidate. They have said, do not vote for Donald Trump. Vote for anybody else, but do not vote for for Donald Trump. From the website 538, what are the chances of the Democrats winning the Senate? 65%. Mm. I don't know if I believe that, but according to 538, which is very accurate, that's the percentage. Uh, This from Monmouth University. The percentage of Americans who believe this election has brought out the worst in people. (laughs) 98 percent 70 70 percent yeah a cambridge university study found complaints against police in the united kingdom and the u.s fell by 93 percent after departments installed body cameras Mm. all right that's interesting it is and after months of delay congress has finally agreed to spend 1.1 $1.1 billion to fight the Zika virus. No money yet on how they're going to appropriate to fight the Trump virus. <laughs> you were just wrong. <laughs> Those are the numbers inside the news on the Big 550 KQ.